Hi, thank you for watching System Setup 3.1 demonstration video. System Setup enables you to set up unconfigured FAST platforms quickly and easily using NetApp best practices. In this demonstration video, we will set up unconfigured all flash fast platform using system setup 3.1. In this demonstration, we assume that the user has collected configuration information necessary to complete system setup for cluster data on tap. Also, I have downloaded system setup 3.1 software from the NetApp support site and installed it on a workstation. Double click on the system setup shortcut to launch system setup 3.1. System setup allows a user to either discover unconfigured NetApp fast platforms on its network or to search for unconfigured nodes over a range of IP addresses. In this demonstration, we will discover unconfigured nodes over the network. Hit discover to start the discover process. A message asks you to make sure that the controllers are powered on. System setup does not support joining new nodes to an existing cluster or help in completing cluster setup on a partial setup cluster. System setup will only discover unconfigured fast platforms on the network and help set them up. The discovery process will run for 8 minutes. As we have discovered the nodes to be set up, let us stop the discover process. Click on Next to continue with the setup process. In the next screen, input the base license key from the configuration worksheet, provide a name for the cluster, and set up the password for the cluster admin account. Click Next to continue with the setup process. System setup creates a cluster and joins nodes to the cluster. So at each stage of the setup process, system setup logs the steps and actions performed which can be reviewed by a user later. In the networking section, configure the DNS settings. The NTP server settings are optional. In the next section, let's set up a management network. We will start with creating cluster and node management interfaces. System Setup 3.1 allows a user to configure active management ports for failover in addition to the default management port of E0M. A warning message is displayed when a user tries to use the same network for data as well as for management. Use the configuration sheet to define a range of IP addresses for management. System setup provides the ability to set up multiple networks. Since we have defined a management network, let's go ahead and define a data network. Select the ports for this data network, click on edit. Select the ports which will be used for this data network. Set the MTU size. And use the configuration worksheet to define a range of IP addresses or individual IP addresses for this network. Click on Next to continue with the setup process. System setup sets up networking objects. It also pings the management gateway. In the next screen, auto support can be configured. A connection method can be selected and a proxy server can also be configured. Critical EMS event notification can also be set up from system setup. And in, in case any additional licenses have to be added, that can be performed as well. 
So at this stage, a user can choose to exit system setup and use system manager to create and manage data aggregates, storage virtual machines, and other storage related tasks. Creating data aggregates is optional in system setup. A user can select from basic, full, and do not configure options. In the setup, as I have limited disks, let's create a single aggregate. The option to create a storage virtual machine is only displayed if data aggregates have been set up in the previous screen. So let's create a storage virtual machine. And then uh, set up protocols to be allowed on the storage virtual machine. With system setup, SIFS, NFS and iSCSI protocol access can be set up on the storage virtual machine. For NFS, an export name and a volume size can be defined. For iSCSI, a data interface per node gets created and the volume size to host the LUN can also be specified. Finally, System Setup provides a summary of the setup process and a hyperlink to the printable summary on the log file. System Setup also provides a hyperlink to launch System Manager. Users can use System Manager, the NetApp element management software, to create storage objects and to manage day-to-day -day operations on the cluster. 